Hello and welcome. Today we will see what is the function of each component in a mobile charger. This is the mobile charger and I have drawn the circuit diagram of this mobile, the, this particular mobile charger. I have drawn the circuit diagram of this particular mobile charger and the circuit diagram of the charger. Here first of all this is the point where we apply the 230 volt AC and it is directly connected to a fusible resistor. What is the function of the fusible resistor? The function of the fusible resistor is to limit the current. If over current flows in the circuit, the fusible resistor will burn out and protect the other components from getting damage. This is the purpose of the fusible resistor. If we say that the fusible resistor has a 1 ampere current limit, that means if more than 1 ampere current flows through it, it will burn out and protect the other circuits, other components from damaging. This is the purpose of the fusible resistor. Here we can see this is the input and the input is one end of the input is directly connected to the fusible resistor and the other end of the fusible resistor this is the other end this other end of the fusible resistor is connected to one end of the bridge rectifier the other end of the bridge rectifier is directly connected to this point this point is connected to one end of the bridge rectifier and the second point is connected through this fusible resistor to the bridge rectifier and and the output of the bridge rectifier is connected to a capacitor and an inductor and after that another capacitor the purpose of the capacitor is to eliminate the ripple from the output of the bridge rectifier and this inductor will also smooth the ripple and get a more pure DC in this capacitor. Now after passing the signal from the output of the bridge rectifier to the capacitor, the voltage waveform will look like something like this. This is the input voltage. This is the input voltage. This is the input voltage we are applying and its frequency is around 50 Hz. 50 Hz means free, the time will be 1 by F. 1 by frequency, 1 by 50, 1 by 50 means 20 millisecond, it is around 20 millisecond. That means this, this waveform repeats after every 20 millisecond. It is coming like that and after 20 millisecond again the same waveform repeats. That is the, free, the time period is 20 millisecond. And after passing it through the bridge rectifier, this waveform is inverted to the same direction that means now the time repetition time that means this waveform is take only 10 milliseconds that means from 20 millisecond it is changed to 10 millisecond and after 10 millisecond it is repeating again now what is the purpose of the capacitor the purpose of the capacitor to is to avoid the ripple earlier without capacitor the in the voltage at the output of the bridge rectifier follows this path the input path but when a capacitor is connected the waveform will be changed from this to this this means the input voltage waveform is increasing and it reaches the maximum voltages and when the input voltage at the when the bridge rectifier output voltage is decreasing this voltage after that as the capacitor has some energy it will not let the voltage to drop to zero it will not let the voltage to drop to zero and maintain the a minimum voltage if we say that this is uh, around a 300 volt and this is a 280 volt now 
the minimum voltage will be 280. It will be maintained, the capacitor will maintain a minimum voltage of 280. And this is this this is the use of the capacitor to maintain a minimum voltage is the use of the capacitor and now we will see how we can select the value of a capacitor for that first of all we want to know to select the value of the capacitor we want to be the what will be the output power we want if we want a 5 volt of output and 2 ampere of current what it means 5 volt and 2 ampere of current means let's say the current this is the electron let's say this is the electron and ele electron and there are a number of electrons are there if 2 ampere of electron if we say that 2 ampere of electron means a number of electrons 2 ampere means 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 electrons this is one coulomb this this number of electrons is passing through a particular point is called per second in one second this number of electron passing through a particular point in a wire if this is a wire and if this is a wire and this number of electron is passing through this point in one second then it we will call a one ampere of current and a one, this number of electron passing per second through a, a point in a wire and each electron possesses a voltage of 5 volt 5 volt means if we say that this is the voltage this is the force or is the momentum is the energy is the momentum momentum means the force of the electron then each electron possesses 5 volt each electron possesses 5 volt and there are 2 ampere of current 2 ampere of current with 5 volt means total 10 watt of power is there 10 watt of power is the output for power the that we want now then we have to calculate what will be the input power if we want if we want 10 watt of power 10 watt of power means 5 voltage at the output and 2 ampere 2 ampere each electron possesses 5 volt of energy and the total will be and the total energy will be 2 ampere 2 ampere of electron with 5 volt mean 2 into 5 10 watt of power for getting 10 watt of power what will be the if we want to 10 watt of power what will be the capacitor value how we can select the value of the capacitor if for calculating that for before calculating that we have to know that if we want 10 watt of power there will be some losses are here some losses are here in the inductor or in the capacitor or in the pwm ic or on the transistor switching ic there will be some loss it means 10 watt of power that is what is we want and the efficiency is 80 percent that is 20 percent is loss then we could have to su supply an energy an amount of energy of 12 watts 12 watt meets an energy of 12 watt, 12 watt has to be supplied per second 12.5 watts has to be supplied from the input then only we can get 10 watt at the output that remaining 2.5 watts is lost by the form of heat now how we calculate the value of the capacitor for that as we know that we are capacitance of a capacitance is q by v what do you mean by q by v q by v means q means i into t by v that means if 2 ampere current flows through a circuit let's say 2 ampere of current flows to through a circuit for two seconds then the total then two ampere of current flows through two seconds means total four ampere this is coming into the capacitor a four ampere of coming into the capacitor and the voltage has changed from say zero to hundred volt 
from 0 to 100 volt then the voltage will be 4 ampere divided by 0 to 100 0 to 100 means 100 the voltage has changed from 100 volt 0 to 100 volt when 4 ampere of current passing through passing into the capacitor the voltage of the capacitor is changed from 0 to 100 volt this means this is the value of the capacitor that means 4 by 100 point zero zero four farad point zero zero four farad or we can say that if this is connected to 4000 4000 microfarad that means if 2 ampere of current is flow to a capacitor in 2 seconds 2 seconds the then 4000 microfarad capacitor has to be used this is what is how we calculate the value of a capacitor now we will check now we will calculate how we calculate in this particular case the value of the capacitor that we want 12.5 watt has to be supplied by the capacitor 12.5 watt of energy has to be supplied by the capacitor as we see from the this waveform that the period of the one period of the free uh, one period of the in voltage after rectification will be 10 milliseconds that means it is changing at every 10 milliseconds that means if we consider this 10 millisecond that means if this is for one second the energy required by the mobile charger for one second will be this if let's say for for 10 milliseconds what will be the energy it is for one millisecond for 12 milliseconds so for 10 milliseconds it will be into 10 into 10 milliseconds now this will be for 10 milliseconds it is for one second and this is for 10 milliseconds now it is 12.5 into 10 raised to this is going to be minus 2 to raised to minus 2 that means 2 points has to be replaced here and to, it is 0 0.125 watt per 10 millisecond that means at every 10 millisecond the capacitor has to deliver 0.125 watts that means the capacitor has to deliver 0.125 watt per 10 millisecond now we will calculate this this portion if we say we say that if it it, it is delivering 0.125 watt and if we consider that at the worst case if we say that the voltage is very less or supply voltage is very less and this peak will be say a 120 volt this peak will be say 120 volt and uh, this peak will be 100 volt that means this this peak is 120 and this lower portion is 100 that means the average will be around 110 the average of both this will be 110 and then we can say that we are calculating the what will be the input current what will be the input i in what will be the in, input current the average voltage is we are uh, taking the worst case the average voltage is 110 volts that is in between 120 and 100 110 then the average input current want to be 0 0.00113 6 ampere this will be the average input current and we can also write it like this into 0 0.001136 means 1136 into 10 raised to minus 6 now, now we calculate the value of the capacitor the value of the capacitor is 
q by v q by v that is q means the i i here the i is 1 1 3 6 into 10 raised to minus 6 and if we say we look at the voltage this is 120 volt this is the peak will this 120 volt this this peak is 120 volt this peak and this is 100 that means difference is 20 volt so here is the peak value 120 and after delivering this much of power 1.35 into 10 raised to minus 6 ampere, ampere of current micro ampere of current the voltage will reduce to 100 volt 1136 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 20 this is equal to 56.818 into 10 raised to minus 6 that means 56 or microfarad so we have to use 56 microfarad capacitor at the input so we have to use 56 microfarad or 57 microfarad a large value a somewhat large value of capacitor is good to use then as the value of the capacitor increases the ripple will be reduced so we have to use a large value of capacitor so we will continue the function of each component in other videos